At a customer dinner party, my boyfriend's little sister spiked my drink. Everything was caught on camera. I seized the opportunity while she was on the phone and switched our drink glasses. It turns out that stealing chickens can indeed lead to losing the rice. After four years of being together, Quentin and I couldn't wait and decided to register at the Civil Affairs Bureau on April 1st before graduation. We originally wanted to choose an auspicious day, but Quentin's grandmother consulted a fortune teller who said this day was the best. Well, the fortune teller was using the lunar calendar. Just after receiving our marriage certificate, Quentin and I were both very excited. I took a photo and was about to post it on social media to accept everyone's blessings. But when I opened my social media, I noticed that just a minute ago, Quentin's cousin Clara had also posted a photo of a marriage certificate. The man in the picture was Quentin himself. The caption read, Family flowers are always more fragrant than wild flowers. After 20 years of being together, we finally achieve true love. What's even more incredible is that over a dozen relatives from Quentin's family were already queuing up to congratulate them. Childhood sweethearts, finally together. Goddess matched with deity, a match made in heaven. I was speechless. Clara knew the day when Quentin and I got our marriage certificate. She had tears in her eyes at that time and pitifully approached Quentin. Quentin, you won't be single anymore tomorrow. Can I hug you for the last time? Quentin's long eyebrows furrowed. His lips pressed tightly and his eyes were cold and impatient. With a casual flick of his arm, he pushed Clara aside. He then embraced me tightly against his chest. Clara, I haven't been single for four years. I've told you this before. Don't your ears work? Clara's eyes were filled with tears. It seemed like she was afraid of Quentin's intimidating demeanor. She turned to me and said, Mani, congratulations. I will definitely give you and Quentin a gift as a blessing after you get married. I secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Just when I thought that my clingy stepsister, who had been pursuing Quentin, had finally given up, she pulled this trick today. Ha ha, what a great gift. Quentin immediately looked at the social media post, his brows furrowing and his fingers trembling with anger. He looked apologetically at me. Sophie, don't worry, I will explain this to you properly. He directly replied to the post. The above information is pure rumor. My wife will always be Miss Sophie. He then posted a photo of our marriage certificate on social media. This is the original marriage certificate between me and my only legal wife, Miss Sophie, in the world and the universe. Any alterations will be held accountable. The relatives from Quentin's family were shocked. Quentin, this was just a small joke. You and Monty shouldn't mind it, right? By the way, uncles and aunties, today is April Fool's Day. Sorry for the confusion. Well, we won't blame you, but you will need to explain at the police station. Quentin coldly commented. On our way to the police station, Quentin's phone rang countless times, all of which he coldly hung up. He even took my phone and turned it off. Now I regret knowing, why did I do that in the first place? This is just despicable, Quentin said angrily. At that moment, I thought his angry look was quite handsome. We went straight back to the villa in the north of the city. Kuba's business is very successful, and this is the marital house prepared by the Ku family for us. The next day was the weekend, with nothing to do. I opened the curtains and sat on the balcony lounge chair browsing Duyin. Suddenly, I noticed a lot of insulting and humiliating comments and private messages on my works. Disgusting. Someone just made a joke on April Fool's Day and now wants to ruin their future. You are really despicable. You are just an old woman who can't take a joke. Are you still living in the last century? Are you still wearing old cotton panties? Why don't you die, you malicious woman? I took a deep breath and found a host through the comments, named Cindy with over 50,000 followers. Looking at the works with various long legs in seductive stockings, mini skirts, see-through outfits, I also roughly understood what style she was specializing in. No wonder so many loser men came to insult me. I found the most recent pinned video. It was a screen recording of Clara's live broadcast. In the video, Clara was crying with a pitiful and helpless look. I grew up together with Ting Shigugu, and we were always good together. I remember when we were playing house there, he said he would protect me forever. But when Ching Shigugu went to college, we were separated. 
It was at this time that Sophie intervened. This time it was just a joke on April Fool's Day to cherish the feelings of the past 20 years. I never thought that Sophie would care so much about my past with Ching Shigugu. She actually forced him to report to the police, and now he doesn't even allow him to answer my calls. He has blocked my WeChat and doesn't even give me a chance to explain. Woo woo? If I really get detained, then these four years of police school will be in vain. She was crying because she was afraid of being detained and not being able to pass the police qualification assessment. Now she was using public opinion to put pressure on me. Is that so? At this time, my best friend also sent me a message. Mani, you need to look at the local forums. You're on the headlines. I opened the link sent by my best friend, and it was incredible. The mistress intervened and rose to power, but was not satisfied even after getting the marriage certificate, so she planned for Gunusha to go to jail. There were pictures of my marriage certificate with Quentin, as well as our photos, without any censorship. I swear! I rolled up my sleeves. If I don't teach her a lesson this time, I would be unworthy of my nickname, Sulafu. Before I could take action, I saw my mother-in-law posting on her moments. Some time ago, someone came to me begging me to accept them as a goddaughter, but now they have become my daughter-in-law in their mouth. My son took pity on her, took care of her, and they became childhood sweethearts. Their affection for each other grew. Did she destroy her brain through plastic surgery? Haha, <laughs> what goddaughter? She is a real enemy. We, the Ku family, can't afford such a goddaughter. Later, my mother-in-law called me. Mani, you have come all the way here to marry into our family. I won't let you be wronged. You are now my own daughter. Nobody can bully you, not even my son Quentin, let alone this little girl. This time I will make sure she gets what she deserves. Thank you, Mom. I didn't say much in gratitude, but I felt warm inside. Mother-in-law then asked me to send her to her some screenshots, videos, and links. She forwarded them to the relevant police officers. Mother-in-law said she was initially hesitant, as Clara's previous harmful actions were not so obvious. The police couldn't directly classify it as defamation, so they asked her to seek forgiveness from us. Unexpectedly, this incident escalated, and now defamation was completely proven. By the way, my mother-in-law is also a police officer with a higher rank. The next day I received a message from my mother-in-law. Clara was administratively detained. Although it was only for three days, it jeopardized her chances of passing the police officer examination that she was studying for. Because administrative detention, although it doesn't leave a criminal record, doesn't meet the qualifications for the police officer position. After delivering green tea to the detention center, I felt a sense of satisfaction. As graduation approached, Quentin and I had already passed our thesis, and there were no issues from the school. Quentin was busy with his startup company. I spent a few days leisurely reading books at home, getting ready to go to Bali with Quentin to take wedding photos in a few days. Unexpectedly, something happened in the afternoon, and Quentin asked me to prepare for a family banquet that evening. When Quentin held my hand and pushed open the door of the private room, we were both stunned. Clara was sitting inside. Her eyes were red as if she had been crying. In addition to my father-in-law and mother-in-law, Clara and her mother were also in the room. Quentin had told me before that Clara's mother was my father-in-law's unrequited love from his youth. Initially, my mother-in-law didn't want to acknowledge Clara as her goddaughter, but my father-in-law insisted and she eventually accepted. Well, Ching Ching, the main culprit you need to apologize to is here. Whether we forgive you or not is a minor matter. The key is whether Mani forgives you or not. My mother-in-law said coldly. Clara stood up and bowed to me. Mani's sister, I'm really sorry. I won't make excuses for myself. I was wrong. Mani's sister, I'm willing to accept any punishment. I just hope you can forgive me. After speaking, she picked up a cup of tea and respectfully offered it to me. This was a gesture of making amends. But from what I knew, Clara was not the type of person to sincerely repent. There would definitely be some trouble ahead. If apologies were enough, why would we need the police? After Mani was cyberbullied to such an extent, do you think it's just going to be forgotten like this? Quentin pulled me behind him. 
I apologize. I will go online and apologize. I will definitely restore Mani's reputation. You go online to clarify is only natural, and remember not to have a next time. Quentin's tone was chilling. Clara nodded vigorously. Mani, I know you've been wrong. Ching Ching really made a mistake this time, and your mother and I just scolded Ching Ching. Just think of her as young and naive. How about we let this matter go? Father-in-law spoke softly, with a hint of pleading in his eyes. Yeah, Mani. Now Ching Ching can't even take the police exam. She's been taught a lesson. If you still feel like you haven't vented enough, I'll have her stand here holding the teacup until you're no longer angry, and then you can forgive her. At this point, Clara's mother, dressed in a white suit, spoke up. Ah, truly an experienced green tea, soft but firm indeed. At this moment, Clara started crying just at the right time. Quentin and his mother's expressions changed slightly. At this point, if I don't agree, it seems like I'm being narrow-minded and domineering. Well then, let's see what tricks you and your mother have left. Auntie, you're joking. Ching Ching is Ching Shi's younger sister, also my younger sister. What can't we get past? I'll drink this tea. I reluctantly took the teacup and finished it in one gulp. I always thought Mani was a beautiful and generous child, and she's also sensible. You being our daughter-in-law is a blessing from our ancestors. Father-in-law's face lit up, and he clapped in praise. He started praising me. Now the favor will follow. There must be a request. After we had a few rounds of drinks, father-in-law started speaking. Ching Shi. Ching Ching will be a senior next semester. She can't take the police exam, so she needs to find a place to intern now. I work at an engineering company. All men. It's not quite suitable for Ching Ching to come there as a young girl. How about you have her come to your place? You work in the city center in media. There are many girls in the media industry, and the short video industry is developing well now. You can also take care of her. Clara listened and lowered her head, but I could see a hint of joy in her eyes. Just finished a drama of pretending to be wronged, and now you arrange a small internship for her. How can you refuse? Quentin looked impatient, about to refuse, but I grabbed his hand under the table. I gave him a reassuring look. Okay, we need interns at our place. Quentin agreed. It was supposed to be a husband and wife team to abuse a scumbag. I didn't act and I didn't stick to the script. This doesn't fit the plan. Back at home, I sent some information to a friend who had just joined recently. After a while, a large number of screenshots of conversations were sent. Ching Ching, I saw your apology video online. Are you really surrendering like this? Aren't you the one who said Quentin is your destined true love, that you absolutely have to marry him? Ha ha. Of course not. This is just a strategy. Now Ching Shi has been completely captivated by this sly fox. His eyes only have her, so I have to pretend to bow down a bit to get closer to Ching Shi. First the temple gets wet. I'll design something against Sophie. This way won't we bring Ching Shi back? I won't let that bitch go, just wait and see the show. Humph, what's a police exam? If they asked me to be a police officer, I would find it tiring. Being so rich as the Goo family, when I become the Goo family's young lady, I'll have plenty of time to enjoy life. Yes, on the day Clara cyberbullied me online, I analyzed her social relationships. I followed the clues to find the contact information of her best friend. I had a face-to-face -face meeting with Clara and showed her how my relationship with Quentin started and how we got married through WeChat and some photos on Weibo. With the halo effect of being the female lead, Clara immediately changed her attitude towards me. I knew that someone like Clara, who is vain, jealous, and arrogant, couldn't possibly be a true friend. Of course, the large sum of money I transferred to her may have also played a small role in this change. It seems to have had a good effect now. Clara and her daughter's little scheme was also within my expectations. Time passed quickly, and it was already Friday night. On this day, Quentin called me to let me know that he had a social engagement and would be coming home late. I didn't think much about it. Later, I saw Clara's post on Weibo. It was a photo taken in a KTV with a romantic lighting tone. Clara was wearing a sequined camisole dress and black high heels, leaning against a man. The man had a handsome and cold profile. The caption read, Fulfill all your fantasies about a domineering CEO. It goes without saying that the man in the photo was Quentin. 
Following the location information on Clara's Weibo, I rushed to the KTV and saw the customers across the room pouring alcohol for Quentin. His alcohol tolerance was already low, and now he was completely drunk. As soon as he saw me, he didn't finish speaking and completely collapsed. I quickly helped him to a nearby sofa to rest. With Quentin in such a state, it's no wonder Clara had succeeded earlier. Clara suddenly stood up. I'm sorry, Mani, I'm just here tonight with President Gu to discuss business matters with President Zhang. I didn't mean to approach President Gu. If you're not happy, I'll leave right away. I'll roll far away by myself. With a pitiful look, tears started to flow. To flow. What a masterclass in acting she's received from her high-level green tea mother in just two days. Indeed, her skill level has risen. The other man, President Zhang, spoke. Is this President Gu's wife? Don't make it difficult for Ching Ching. We asked her to attend tonight. We want to give the project to President Gu's company because Ching Ching initiated the contact. We're not familiar with President Gu. How can we discuss business without an intermediary? Clara's eyes gleamed with pride. We're respectable people. We haven't even called her Miss. How can we watch President Gu flirting with her without speaking up? Just say it. The success of this project largely depends on Ching Ching's reputation. If you ask her to leave now, we might as well not discuss it. At this moment, Clara looked directly at me, then quickly looked away, pretending to be very sad. At this point, Quentin's business partner on the left also spoke. President Zhang is right. It is true that Clara cannot leave tonight. Sister-in-law, what do you think? Showing a dilemma. Ha ha. How can that be? Ching Ching is so capable. I haven't thanked her enough. How could I blame her? I deliberately emphasized the word capable. The expressions of the other men were somewhat strange. Take another look at Clara's outfit today, as well as her usual sexy style and coquettish voice. It seems quite fitting to say that. A hint of embarrassment flashed in Clara's eyes. Since Ching Ching is so capable, I have decided to give her a raise of 1,000 yuan when she becomes a regular employee, I said. Although I said that, I couldn't help but think, regular employee? Clara, forget about it. Whether she can leave unscathed is still a question. One shouldn't have two masters. Ching Ching, you go over to, to accompany Director Zhang. I'll take care of things here with Ching Shi. Make sure you take good care of him. I emphasize the words, take good care of again. Clara reluctantly sat down because of her strapless outfit. Half of her chest was exposed when she sat down. The men around took a sharp breath. At this moment, I quickly called everyone to toast the client. In the meantime, I casually touched up my lipstick with a small makeup kit from my bag. After using it, while Clara was busy flirting with the chubby director Zhang, pretending to be casual, I put it on the back of the sofa. I used an excuse to go to the bathroom, opened the monitoring app. Yes, the small bag was modified with a monitoring device inside. Before I came, I received intelligence from Clara's friend. It was a picture, a screenshot of Clara's recent post at the KTV. Have you seen it? The trap is set. Today I will reveal that fox spirit for who he truly is. Seeing this message, I probably knew Clara's plan. So, I made some preparations. It's just an old trick, taking advantage of the victim's carelessness. At this point, I watched the movements inside the private room through the monitoring. Clara saw me leave and a look of joy appeared on her face. She came straight over. After speaking with the company's partner, she used the excuse of suddenly needing to touch up her makeup, turned sideways, took out an open bottle of foreign liquor from under the sofa. It was the same packaging as the foreign liquor in front of me. She sprinkled a little of the foreign liquor on the floor to make it look like the same amount of liquor in both bottles. Then she hid the liquor I had before under the table. I quickly returned to the private room. At this point, Clara also went out to take a phone call. When she came back, she immediately came over to toast. Manijie, I toast to you. As I looked at the half glass of liquor in front of me, I hesitated. Manijie, do you think it's too much to drink now? In that case, let me drink this half glass of liquor in your glass for you. And then I'll pour you another half glass. How about that? When Clara spoke, everyone exclaimed at how generous Clara was. This Clara is amazing. Everyone knew I suspected that there was something wrong with the half glass of liquor. She drank it for me, dispelling my concerns and making it easier for me. 
This kind of generous gesture scored a lot of points. She then poured all the liquor in my glass into her own and drank it in one go. Surprisingly, Clara can really hold her drink, and she moves effortlessly among men as if she was naturally cut out for this. I suddenly felt a hint of mischief in my heart. Then she picked up the bottle of liquor on my table and poured me half a glass, clinked glasses with me, and stared at me with her eyes fixed on mine. Miss Manny, Ching Ching has already drunk half a cup for you. It wouldn't be nice if you don't finish the other half. Yes, sister-in-law, just have a little bit to show some courtesy. Really? Ching Ching is so capable today. I can't dampen the mood, so I'll finish this half cup too. I picked up the cup and emptied it in one gulp. Seeing this, Clara seemed to breathe a sigh of relief. There was a triumphant look in her eyes. Everyone continued drinking. Before long, I pretended to feel a bit hot. I'm not feeling too well today. Why am I getting dizzy after drinking so little? I muttered to myself. I saw Clara signal to Mr. Zhang and his group. What do you mean? If Mr. Zhang and our friends don't have a good time today, it's because your company lacks sincerity. Miss Manny, but... You see? Clara looked very troubled. Implicitly, she wanted to make me drink more. No way. In order to show the sincerity of our company, I will call home now. We'll drink all night and only go back tomorrow morning. After saying that, I earnestly called the housekeeper. Ching Ching, can you make a statement? Can you stay up all night? Ching Ching looked at me seriously and nervously explained to her mother over the phone. Their business partner did the same. Mr. Zhang and his group seemed very happy and even a bit excited. As we continued drinking, Clara kept glancing at me with a look of doubt. I smiled faintly, but not long after, Clara had her own problem. Her face turned red and her eyes became even more unfocused. She was already dressed provocatively, and now all the men present were starting to sneak glances at her. Let's go back ten minutes. Clara went out to make a phone call. I quickly poured out half the drink from my own cup. Then I poured the half drink back into my cup from the bottle on the table. I also switched the bottles under the sofa and on the table. I had already planned for any unexpected situations. If Clara didn't drink the half cup of alcohol with the drug, I would simply make an excuse to pour it out. You may wonder why the phone call was so convenient. Ha ha! Of course, I had Clara's good friend make the call. We continued drinking for two hours. As I drank more, I became more alert. While Clara had already been knocked out, lying on the sofa with her clothes disheveled, twisting her body continuously. Mr. Jang's eyes were red, unable to look away from Clara. He didn't care about our persuasion to drink anymore. Cough, Mani. I think everyone is tired now. I've had a good time, so why don't we call it a night? Don't say that, Mr. Jang. If you're not satisfied with the drinks today, I'll lose the deal, and Quentin will scold me. I can't afford to lose this million-dollar project. Then I signaled to the partner next to me. Yes, Mr. Zhang, now President Gu has had too much to drink. He promised earlier to ensure your satisfaction tonight and finalize the cooperation. The partner also chimed in. Mr. Zhang glared at Clara. Bring the contract. Let's sign it now. With a few strokes of the pen, the document was signed. Now it was time to deal with Quentin and Clara, who were both thoroughly drunk. I used the excuse that I couldn't handle Quentin alone and asked my partner to help me take Quentin home. Meanwhile, Mr. Zhang and his group assured me that they were good friends with Clara and offered to arrange a room for her nearby. I emphasized the importance of taking care of her before leaving. Upon arriving home, I immediately checked the surveillance footage on the app and discovered inappropriate images. It was a classic case of trying to get away with something, but ultimately causing harm. However, Mr. Zhang and his group were not good people either, as their target that night was me. With my keen intuition, there was no way I would let them off the hook. I called my father-in-law. Dad, there was a business dinner at Ching Shi Company, and Clara was the one who introduced me to the client. Unfortunately, both Ching Shi and Clara got drunk, so I had to help send Ching Shi back first. Although they kept saying they were good friends with Ching Ching, I'm a bit worried. Could you ask driver Zhang and me to go pick up Ching Ching? Upon hearing that Clara was drunk at the KTV, my father-in-law became anxious. It's late. Don't go. Just give me the address. I'll ask Lao Zhang to go with me, he said before hanging up. 
I, it worked out perfectly, as I didn't want to go anyway. I turned off my phone and went to bed. The next morning, when I turned on my phone, I received a message from my mother-in-law. Yesterday, my father-in-law went to the private room and witnessed an obscene scene. He was furious and immediately took photos for evidence. Why didn't we just report it to the police? Mr. Jang kept insisting that Clara had incriminating evidence against us. It was a case of catching mice while forgetting about the cat. We informed Clara's mother and eventually the matter was resolved at my father-in-law's house. The interrogation revealed startling information. Mr. Zhang and Clara's mother were old lovers. Over the years, Mr. Zhang had been lusting after the young Clara. He even claimed that Clara had brought the aphrodisiac with her herself, but he was elusive when asked whom it was intended for. When Clara regained consciousness and heard Mr. Zhang's threats, she refused to report him. At her mother's request, Mr. Zhang compensated them with 20,000 yuan to settle the matter. Although Clara received monetary compensation, she was devastated. She felt tainted and believed she had lost any hope of being accepted by my family. It was rumored that she attempted suicide in the aftermath. I didn't see Clara again until half a month later when I brought food for Quentin. To my surprise, Clara was back working at the company. It was incredible how resilient she was. That evening, when picking up Quentin from work, I was greeted with chaos at their company. Clara was crying, clinging to Quentin's legs on the floor, surrounded by a crowd. Ching Shi, do you think I'm dirty? She sobbed. Ever since that incident, people have been looking at me differently. Do they think I'm a slut? If you ignore me, I might as well die. Because now I only have you. Quentin frowned, his face showing clear impatience, but he did not erupt. I understand he is very helpless. After all, the last time Clara got into trouble was because of the company's business. If he responded heartlessly to Clara, it would seem a bit lacking in humanity. Moreover, there are the feelings of all the employees in the company, especially the female employees. The partner on the side awkwardly tried to persuade. Ching Ching, you got into this mess because of a company matter, and the company should compensate you. But this matter should not be mixed with personal feelings. You also know that President Gu is about to marry Miss Manny soon, and you behaving like this will harm President Gu's family. But Clara became agitated. If it wasn't for her, could I have had such an incident? Qingxi was originally mine. She is a third party. Not only did she steal my Qingxi, but also caused me to be in this state today. That's enough. If you continue to tarnish Mani, you will leave the company in the future and you will never appear in front of me again. Quentin had a chill on his face, with an undeniable authority. Woo woo, Ching Shi, I sacrificed so much for you and the company and you actually scold me. I want to die. Saying this, she rushed towards the window. Everyone grabbed her. Why don't you let her go? I promise she won't jump. At this point, I made an appearance. Bring a projector. I want to show everyone something. I connected to the projector with, with my phone via Bluetooth. I displayed one WeChat conversation screenshot after another. Ching Ching, this time we offered you a good deal for the company on this project. With the current market conditions, we could have quoted even lower. Oh, Uncle Zhang, didn't I tell you? Can't lose the opportunity to catch the wolf. I showed you Sophie's photos as well. A woman with such looks and charisma, you can't afford her with the money you spend normally. A moment of spring dawn is worth a thousand gold. Besides, if you really can't handle this contract, just find an excuse not to sign it after you get it. Don't forget to take a few of those kind of photos so you can continue to play with her in the future. Heh, right? Hey, Ching Ching, after I did so much for you, took such a big risk, don't you think you should repay me somehow? Get lost, LSP. Don't I have my mom already? Ha ha, I was just kidding. By the way, the drugs you prepared aren't fake, right? Don't mess up at a crucial moment. Don't worry, I tried it myself. The drug effect is definitely strong. You can look forward to enjoying it tomorrow. Luckily, I had planned ahead and found him on the day Zhang left the Gu family. Under threat, I obtained this evidence. Before I finished showing the photos, Quentin exploded. In a red rage, he flew forward and slapped Clara. You bitch! You dare to touch my wife! The company members were also in an uproar surprised to see this side of Clara. I didn't expect her to be so evil, 
pretending to be pitiful to win our sympathy. That's right, if you get played by someone, it serves you right. What contribution did she make to the company? Disgusting. Seeing the commotion for so long was not a good thing, so I intervened to maintain order. Everyone, go back to work and spread out, and don't spread rumors about this matter. The Goo Family Villa When we returned with Clara, Grandpa, Grandma, and Clara's mother were already waiting in the living room. Clara's mother embraced her, heartbroken at the clear palm print on Clara's face. Clara, do you have anything to say now? Grandpa's face was cold. It seemed that Clara had crossed a line this time. I had worried that Grandpa would still show bias towards her, but it seemed I was mistaken. Sob sob, Clear has always been kind since she was young. You all know that. How could she do something like this? Yes, yes, you know it's so easy to fake screenshots online. Even if it's not a screenshot, it's easy to find two phones, change a WeChat name, and fabricate a WeChat conversation. At this moment, Clara seemed to have found her backbone and quickly began to defend herself. I smiled and motioned to Quentin. Quentin took out his laptop and played the video from that night. The video showed Clara slyly swapping out my wine bottle. Clara, do you think this video is also fake? Quentin sneered. Clara was shocked by the video and started to stammer. Ching, now that AI technology is so advanced, videos can indeed be faked. It seems you don't believe it until you're in the coffin. Otherwise, I'll call Zhang General now to verify. Hearing this, I took out my phone. Clara's expression wavered. She dared not meet my eyes or speak, and hung her head. You little bitch, how dare you try to harm my daughter-in-law? Grandma grabbed Clara's hair and slapped her twice. Her fierce movements were no less than those of a person in their twenties or thirties. Why are you hitting her? Clara's mother hurried to protect Clara. Clara's mother begged, It's all my fault for teaching my daughter poorly. For the sake of Clear growing up under your care, please forgive her. Yeah. Clara and her mother finally stopped making excuses. Clara, what have we done to wrong you for you to treat my daughter-in-law like this? Grandma's anger was evident. I was blind before. I didn't expect you to be like this. I don't want to see you ever again. Leave Hang City. I'll make arrangements so that no one will employ you in this city again. Grandpa was resolute. Clara's mother helped Clara leave. Hold on. Clara and her mother turned back, surprised. There's a tenant interested in your house. You have two days to move out. I've blocked your contact information. Don't try to contact us again, Grandpa said coldly. The glimmer of hope that Clara and her mother had just kindled was extinguished. They seemed a little desperate. They nodded helplessly and left. Later, I don't know how this matter spread. It was posted on platforms like TikTok. Cindy, a green tea internet celebrity, has a dark past. There is scandalous information about how Cindy betrayed others and caused trouble, including details about her family, taking advantage of Quentin and plotting against me. It's strange how someone knew all this so clearly. Later, her classmates came forward to expose her. Now, her classmates are disgusted by her, and many people in the school group chat are criticizing her. She has become completely isolated in school. Perhaps feeling pressured, Cindy denied the allegations in the group chat and threatened to send a cease and desist letter through her lawyer. This move angered her former best friend even more. Her best friend took to Weibo and publicly confronted Cindy, sharing their previous conversations. Cindy had no way to defend herself. Her scandalous behavior had a significant impact and even made minor headlines. The news even reached the university administration. Ultimately, she was expelled for unethical conduct. I only heard about Cindy's situation half a year later. It was from her mother-in-law. She had moved to Shanghai and without a degree, could only find low-end jobs, but she had a spoiled attitude that clashed with her employers, leading to multiple job changes and quick resignations. Eventually, she couldn't resist the allure of Shanghai's materialistic lifestyle and turned to hostessing. She indulged in a carefree lifestyle for a while, but eventually faced consequences. As for the businessman Zhang, when Quentin found out everything, he wanted to seek revenge. But his father-in-law was worried about Quentin's hot-headedness causing unnecessary trouble and took matters into his own hands. He discovered that the creditor who previously asked Quentin to call him grandfather was now relentless in demanding repayment, 
unaffected by threats involving security or police. Or previous clients withdrew their cooperation. The tax authorities even audited him for tax evasion. Within days, he declared bankruptcy. His wife learned that his troubles stemmed from sexual misconduct with a powerful figure and promptly divorced him, leaving him with nothing. He became destitute, while he knew that Cindy was living lavishly in Shanghai. He went to Shanghai and found Sound Cindy and her mother. He tried to guilt-trip them into helping him, but they gave in. The three of them entered into a chaotic relationship. It is rumored that Cindy is now financially supporting him through hostessing. He is carefree again, while Cindy suffers abuse and violence. Meanwhile, despite the hardships I endured, Quentin's family has treated me like a treasure. After getting pregnant, my in-laws even added my name to their will. Sometimes I wonder, perhaps without Cindy, things wouldn't be so perfect now.